Uh, these are used by firefighters or by Queensland Fire and Emergency Services to test any atmosphere that we don't know for sure what the safety of that atmosphere is and what its standard is before we enter anywhere. The standard tends to be a couple of minutes maximum before people will be severely affected by smoke. The Homicide Squad has now been engaged in this investigation. The investigation centres around three incidents that have occurred over a 16 month period at a Moray Field address. The first of these incidents occurred in July of 2013, which was the death of a three year old child. In February of 2014, there was a, a fire at the premises, and in September of this year, a, of 2014, a seven-month-old child was also uh, found deceased at the premises. The murder of a defenceless child is deplorable. We will be putting all our resources that we have available into this investigation and we will continue it until the persons or persons responsible are brought to justice. What we're looking at with the assistance of Queensland Fire and Emergency Services is is quite separate and that's the forensic component of the, the fire. They can assist in reconstructing the fire but what that does for us is it proves to some degree forensically or gives us evidence of how the fire may have developed, what the likely circumstances of the fire may have been and what the ultimate outcome of that fire may have been in terms of um, an attempted murder or a murder, how quickly a person would have succumbed to smoke and fire and heat. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an integral part of our investigation.